This is Andy Puroff, Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're at, we're at Wembley Box Park and I'm joined by Tony Lapidus, an impressionist. Tony, firstly, how are you? I'm doing very well, doing very well, loving it here. It's been a great event. Great to know. Glad to hear about you're in good spirits. Um, Obviously, as you, as you know, I have a very good relationship with Mr. John Fury. We've spoken over social media about that. So he's one of the men you have numerous videos on. He's, he's Mr. John. So let's just get straight into it. I don't, I've never done an interview like this before, so I'm trying to find the best way to go into it. So we'll pretend that you are John Fury now. So, if, John, how are you doing? Listen, doing very well, yeah. Can't complain too much. You know, we've had... Um had a lot of fireworks down there, you know, a lot of fun. Sparks flying now and again, but it's been great. Seeing both Tyson and Dillian on the scales there, John, what did you make of them? Listen, you know, good luck to both of them. But I don't think that he's got any chance against my son. You can see what's up there. The man ain't been born what can take my son. And everybody knows it. So I'm not worried too much. I'm very confident. I'm the proudest father alive. John, there's obviously been um, you know, a video going about, and not just a video, we saw it ourselves, just yourself and Dean White had a little kind of confrontation up on the stage the other day. All of that been settled now? Yeah, listen, you know, it's all jokes and games, isn't it? At the end of the day, we're all professional. I'm, listen, I know what I am. I'm, I'm only the father of the heavyweight champion of the world. I know that at the end of the day, it's down to them two warriors to get into that ring. I'll scrap with the man in the car park, don't get me wrong. John Fury will back down from no man. So if he wants to go, I'll be going right now. And you know that more than anyone, don't you, Andy? You know that I will have a scrap any time. You've probably seen it. I certainly, certainly do, John. So I'll be staying on your good side because I don't want to um, see what it would be like if I was involved in that situation. Uh, final one, though. Dillian said that he'd be happy for you to face his dad. You up for that? Listen, I have got balls the size of King Kong and Godzilla wrapped into one. I fear no man. I'll fight Dillian White, Frillian White Knickers, I'll fight his dad, I'll fight anybody. Listen, I'm not scared of anybody. If he wants to go now, because I grew up fighting. That's what people don't understand. I grew up fighting, and I'm a fighting man till the day I die, I can tell you that. I'm a proper hard man, and I'll fight any fighting man that's worth his metal. What's the post-fight victory meal going to be if Tyson's successful, John? What's it what? A post-fight victory meal if Tyson is successful on Saturday night. Probably a starter of cement, fresh cement. Sprinkle a few nails on there, that always goes down well. Liquid tar for a drink, love a bit of that. Can't get enough of liquid tar, fresh and hot. And then uh, that'll probably do me. You know all this processed food, what people talk about and like getting pizzas and that? I don't do any of that. I only eat nails and wood and cement and tar. And then after that, I don't go for a shower, do I? I go into a furnace, step into a furnace, and that does me well, and I'm ready for bed in my own quiet, private life, and that's how I like it. That's my celebration, mate. John, moving away from yourself and onto your son, Tyson. Tyson, how are you feeling ahead of Saturday night? Listen, I can't complain, you know, I've had a, a great camp. It's been great. I've got absolutely no complaints. I'm feeling confident, feeling fit. And um, it's a professional sport. It's only a boxing match at the end of the day, so nothing to worry about. But I can tell you, after this, it's done and dusted over and out. We've seen you boxing many different styles throughout your career heading into tomorrow night. Is it one which we can expect you to take up that southpaw stance we saw you do in the workout? Will you look to be more aggressive? Will you look to box on the back foot? How are you going to approach it? I'm a man of many skills. I'm a man of many things. And I don't like to give away my game plan. But I will say this. If I want to switch it up to Southport, depends what he does, you know. I know he's got a bit of a tricky left hook on him. And I know he can sneak up from underneath. But I'm not scared of anybody. And I'm not scared of anything. The man's getting knocked spark out. Because in the end, Dillian White's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong, it's going to be a good fight. But I'm leagues above him. And to me, he's just another dosser. He's a slink. Do you know what a slink is? Yeah, I made it up. I made it up, but he's just another slink. And he's getting knocked spark out. Tony? We'll leave you back there now and I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your evening here in London. It's a pleasure to meet you for the first time. Hopefully it won't be the last that we see of each other as well. Thank you for speaking to me at Boxing Social. Thank you very much. Thank you. And can I, I'm going to plug my socials. Tony Lapidus on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Follow, like, share, comment, do what you want and uh, just give us a follow. That's all I ask for. Thanks for doing the interview.